How's it going everybody? ATW Tech back here with another video for you guys. So, I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and I've, I see it all over the place, but people tell me, hey, I have the same settings, I'm not getting the same performance as you, same as the X specs, uh, stuff like that. And um, so I figured I'd do a quick video and show you guys how to maximize the performance on your Alpha, or any PC for that matter, because sometimes options are enabled by default that you don't want enabled. And uh, some people don't realize that because they're new to PC or they just don't bother to look or, you know, it happens. So um, what I recommend is, first of all, going into NVIDIA control panel. So you're going to go here, right click and go to NVIDIA control panel, which is here. Go to your manage 3D settings, global settings, scroll down to power management mode and select prefer maximum performance, not adaptive. I think adaptive is by default and then you're going to click apply there you go that's the one that's one setting the next one is going into windows power options and making sure high performance is set because when i first got the pc windows 10 was set to balanced which is the recommended but you don't want that because you know it's a it's a desktop you don't really need to worry about it this is more for laptops anyways select high performance save it you're good to go there and the biggest thing that i've noticed is people don't go into GeForce experience and sometimes battery boost is enabled by default for whatever reason I think because it detects a mobile GPU in the system so it selects that you want to deselect that because as you can see if it's selected it's gonna try it's gonna lock your frame rate at 30 FPS and uh, try and optimize it for longer battery life well why do you why do you need that when you're on a PC desktop so Deselect it, and it'll turn it off forever. And uh, another way you can do it is using MSI Afterburner, if you want, to overclock the GPU to get some more power out of it. I kind of recommend it, and I kind of don't recommend it. Some Sometimes it works. Sometimes, I mean, it doesn't really give much performance. It'll just raise your temperature over. And like I said, in the how to overclock your GPU, you don't, you don't want to go over, uh, what was it? at least 85 degrees Celsius. When you go over that point, you're in dangerous territory, so you kinda wanna slow it down. And I shouldn't even be telling you to, to overclock it because I don't wanna be liable. I'm not, but I don't wanna tell you guys to do this and you do it and your PC blows up or something. Just be careful with it is what I say. Be careful, know your limits, know your PC's limits, and try not to go overdo it. Anyways, just a quick video on how to optimize performance on your PC if you're, if you're getting lower frame rates, if you're having power problems and uh yeah if you like the video hit that thumbs up button if you have any questions leave it in the comments below if you want to see more v <laughs> i can't even talk this morning it's so early if you want to see more videos hit that subscribe button until next time take it easy everyone peace